the Lord. So the Bible has told us that all have sinned not because they did but they were being propagated from a fallen line. Amen. Because Adam was created on this level according to the nature. Kubanga Adam yatonde ba kudalali no okusinzira kumbala ye. Amen. Hallelujah. And then he fell from this nature before we appeared. Na ago kuva mu mbale ye nga fete tunazalibwa. So what was happening? Is that all his products were coming and they were below the perfect nature of God. So that literally means all were sin. Praise the Lord. Now I want you to look at this. Look at a man that has been brought into this world below the nature of God. So he is operating by another nature. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in, he, in this nature, this person is trying to do things that this other nature alone can do. Because everything that God will tell you to do, He wants you to do it at the level of His nature. But by reason of our coming from Adam, we are fallen from this nature and we are operating by another nature. Just imagine somebody in the fallen nature trying in their own ability to do things in the divine nature. Is that possible? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God knew very well that all of us are limited. However much you desire to do good without the divine nature you still miss it. You remain one. Praise the Lord. Now, when God created man, his nature was released in his spirit. And when man sinned, when man lost that nature, his spirit was deactivated. And man began to operate in the soul. And from the soul, that's where we have what we call the Adamic the fallen or what they call the sinful they are not calling it sinful because people do bad things but it is a nature that does not qualify to the original pray to me a nature that is controlled by our fallenness. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to get it very. When we level this platform, we can fly. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that all have sinned 
yonona. And they have fallen short of the glory of God. Now when we talk about the glory of God. That word glory comes from a Greek word called doxa. It has three major interpretations. Number one, it means something that shines so bright. When somebody is Shining, they can say you are looking glorious. Number two, it relates to the excellency exhibited in a particular nature. Excellency of a particular nature or something. When the Bible talks of the glory of the woman as their hair. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, when the woman has not given a touch on their hair, you can easily miss them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when they have taken time to work on their hair, the excellency of their beauty radiates. radiates. We have been on pulpits waiting for women to come for weddings. And you tell them time, time, time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And they can never. One told us, leave me alone. They will say, you forget that the most important thing here is wedding. But deep inside of them, they know that the excellency, the radiance of their beauty comes when they've given a touch. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All other things don't matter because they want to radiate their excellency. Their nature radiates more when they are full and complete on the hair side. Or you can give their husband, you can fail to give me kameza, but for hair, hey, hey. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, favor, Zibi. But I said the word glory, it relates to that excellency. That reveals the nature of something. That I don't know whether that is very clear. Come on, favors. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's use gold. When gold is, is shining, then they can say it is glorious. Praise the Lord. Because the shining part brings out the excellency of gold. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So it is important for us to know that number one, this thing is relating to an excellent name. So if he lost the glory, if he fell from the place of glory, that literally means that he lost his shining ability. Number two, he lost the excellent nature. Number three, the word glory also relates to an exalted position of honor. The kings are in glory. Not so much in relation to nature. Not so much in relation to shining. But to what? 
to position. Literally meaning that they exhibit a particular position that commands honor. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for us we have a nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is excellent. That can lead you to a shining platform. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible says all have sinned. And they fell short. All have lost the word. The mark. Mark. Oh what? The standard over oh, oh, the nature. Amen. Amen. So all have lost that nature. Because now we were coming forth, we were now appearing by a fallen. Praise the Lord. So the Bible tells us in John. Somebody read for us John chapter 17. After Jesus had said this. After Jesus had said this. He, he looked up to heaven and said. Father. The hour has come. Glorify your son. So that the son may be glorified. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I want you to look at this. We know very well according to Philippians. That Jesus had stepped out of glory. He had stepped out of his excellent nature. He had stepped out of his high and exalted position of honor. And he came here and he began to walk like any other ordinary man. Now he was about to retire. He was about to finish his work. And he says, Father, glorify your son. In number words, I want to get back to that position and that nature of excellency. Praise the name of Jesus. Now read verse 22. Now read verse 22. I have given them the glory. The glory that you gave me. So that they may be one. Just as we are one. Praise the Lord. There is a dimension of position that God or Christ had given to his apostles. They had received the position of authority. They were at this particular time exercising authority on different levels. The position he gave them was helping them to command dignity and honor. But there was another platform of glory that we were still waiting for. That was going to come when you and me are born again. There was no way you would get a new nature. There was no way you would receive a new inward connection. Unless there was another birth. There was no way you were going to become a partaker of the new nature. So the Lord designed another system of salvation which we call the new birth. Regeneration. To regenerate is to give you new genes. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you needed to receive new genes. The word re means again. So there was going to be a regeneration to impart and release a new gene in your life to give you new life which will automatically make you a person in the divine does that make sense? Praise the Lord. So you and me, there was no way with our own working in our own power there was no way we would receive new genes without a new birth that's why the bible says it is impossible for you to participate in the kingdom matters unless you are born again there is a dimension that you can never connect to when you are operating in the lower nature when you are operating in the fallen nature when you are operating in the Adamic nature so when you accept Christ you are connected to Jesus who is referred to as the last Adam. Not the second Adam. So walk with the same by you. Then we have the first Adam and the Adam last Adam. Ne Adam was seen by you. When you call Jesus the second Adam, yes, Adam That literally means you can have the, the third one. Oh, that the is and one by you walk with You get my point. So, so we have the first and the last. And these two personalities, all of them are giving you one thing. The other one gave you a fallen. And then this one gives you a new or a divine. Praise the Lord. Let me hear you. In the new nature, the creative power of God begins to rise up so that you are able to know what to do when you don't know what to do. Because that creative potential releases productive and effective ideas that will put you in charge. Somebody say hallelujah. We talked the other time of moral goodness or moral potential. When people sense that you are either spiritual or religious, then they expect you to do goodness at its highest level. Because when you begin to manifest that nature, then there is moral potential. When people see you failing when you are religious or spiritual, it disturbs them because they know by default by divinity inside of us we are created to influence we are created to be in charge somebody say hallelujah the devil will never remind you that you are a new creature he doesn't want you to know that because you remembering that you are a new creature ultimately connect you to the new potential. He shows you how weak you are. How limited you are. How sinful you are. So that 
you accept the deactivation so that the power of limitation will take hold of you. Somebody say hallelujah. So the Bible says by one man sin entered into the world. Praise the Lord. And so death was passed unto all men. Limitation was passed unto all men. That's why when Jesus comes, number one, he gives you a new nature. And instead of death, he gives you life. Praise the Lord. This life is a power that activates the Bible calls it a quickening effect. When you study about the resurrection power, it is a power that activates you into a dimension of operation that you are able to respond the way you are supposed to respond. That you are supposed to release the potential the way you are supposed to release it. As long as we are still being mastered by the consciousness of sin. We deactivate ourselves in the dimension of life. Anyone who stands and is tall and he feels powerful. If you can bring guilt condemnation or accusation over them. They will be deactivated. You come in your high. And two years ago you stole some your neighbor's cassava. And you come eh, like a bouncer. You see, we are the baddest. Aren't you the one that stole cassava? Mama Gundi's cassava. They can humble themselves and say, please, don't tell any other person, here is money, how much do you want? Bless the Lord. I mean, there is a way you, you, you look at politicians. They have just begun campaigning. And they begin to bring out the past issues. So that their influence. So that their boldness is brought down. That's why Satan is a title. It's not a name. Satan, Satan, it means an accuser. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Satan doesn't mean Lucifer. Satan does Lucifer. Lucifer becomes Satan because of what he does. Lucifer, afuka Satan, or we be In other words, anyone can ayecho tuchideke. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Somebody say Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. The accuser of the brethren. When all the time you're looking for a way of making people feel guilty. Praise the Lord. Eh? You deactivate them. You deactivate them. You frustrate their strength. And that's what the devil characterizes on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord Almighty, He came to bring you to such a platform. Not to show you your weakness, but to show you the excellency that you receive in Christ. So that basing on that excellency, you are able to unlock your capacity. 
and be able to win through. I was telling you people commit suicide just because they look at their limitations and weaknesses and they never look at their strength and potential. Praise the name of Jesus. When the spirit of death begins to master you when the consciousness of death begins to master you I always give a testimony of a certain lady near our church this lady was going outside to work in the Arab countries so they needed her to do a medical checkup. So she goes to KCC. And then they do a medical checkup. And then they discover that she had AIDS. And from KCC up to Maganjo. She was sick. Two weeks after that. Weeks after that. When they told her you are sick, the spirit of what was she thinking about? She was thinking of death. She went to get documents or medical things to go abroad. Do you think she felt any pain? Praise the Lord. There was no pain. When she received this news, is that news? Praise the Lord. This report. report she passed by. And I was saying, what's the problem? And she said, Pastor. And she entered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she was gone. They deactivated her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me hear you praise the Lord. So now I want us to understand this. And I need you to know when you are opening the spirit of death to influence your life. When you open up that deactivating power when you begin to receive and entertain bad reports your potential is deactivated somebody say hallelujah your ability to function the way you are supposed to function is brought low thanks be to Jesus he came to give you life and life in its fullness. The other version says life in abundance. He came to give you a an activating power that even when circumstances appear to be taking you down the word abandon comes from a Latin word and it means an overflowing wave that literally means something comes but it also again comes. And another one comes. So you might appear to be going down. But you always remember that the Jesus I have. Did, only, did not only give me one wave. But where I am another wave will lift me up. And another wave will lift me up. So they say strong. It doesn't matter the storm you are going through. Another wave will come. And you will rise up again. You will fly again. Ladies and gentlemen, by reason of you being in Christ, there is a nature in you. There is potential in you. Situations may try to discourage you. 
God has given us an avenue of edification. Number one is the word of God. The scripture will release light. Illumination and edification will come. Revelation power will pass you up. And on the other dimension of grace. The Bible says let us approach the throne. We shall find mercy and we shall find grace which will help us in our times of need. Ladies and gentlemen, the grace of God has capacity to activate you to a dimension mention of operation and when everyone thinks that you are about to be frustrated the bible says those who receive the abundance of grace in other words another wave of supernatural empowerment will come another wave of facilitation will come please people say what they say stay at the throne of grace. My Bible says that those who receive the abundance of grace they are going to reign in life. I speak in the name of Jesus that the power of death will not master you. The power of life the spirit of life will reactivate potential inside of you will connect you to the powers of liberty that every power of bondage every power of limitation will not be able to stand your potential will not be locked up your abilities will not be locked up just because you have a messiah you have the last Adam my Bible says he is the Alpha and is the Omega. Everything in the middle there he has capacity to handle. Let men say what they say. The time is with you for the seasons are given to men that we may change our situation. When you look at a stubbornness, when you look at the waves, God is not worried the way you are worried. He knows deep inside of you there is life deep inside of you there is a new nature deep inside of you there is creative potential deep inside of you there is dominion potential don't go down you are more than a conqueror. Don't cry like ordinary men. You are more than a success. It is a matter of time. As long as you are still alive. The prophets of all said. As long as Jehovah is alive. I will still come through. He is not only alive. But he lives inside of you. That prophet. Potential is in you. Ladies and gentlemen, when we say we will overcome, it is not a promise in the future. It is something that we have already achieved. And it's a matter of time. Ladies and gentlemen, death came and it reigned by sin. But Jesus Christ he gave us grace and the Bible says grace reigns through righteousness. We are in such a time where the grace of is seeking for opportunity where you will stand in faith because the Bible says in Romans chapter
chapter 4 verse 16 that there are so it is by faith so that it will be by grace there is a dimension of accomplishment that God desires to push you through and all that he needs is that you will not flinch in the face of your adversary you will not go low because of what you are going through you will stand and say as the Lord liveth I will see his deliverance as long as seated on the throne I don't care what you say about me but my faith is not in my capacity yes you know my limitations you know my weakness but my continuity is not blessing on my limitations there is a life in me it is not my life it is the life of God it has been tested it has been proven it can never fail it cannot die you have the zoe of God you have the life of God activate yourself the thing is inside of you it is not on the mountain it is not in another voice it is buried inside of you don't look at your limitation don't look at your ability your ability was proven wrong your ability was proven a failure everyone around you knows that in your ability you are finished but there is a living man by the names of Jesus he says father the glory you gave me I have given to them you don't need to cry like an ordinary person no. it doesn't matter what they have labored you activates the life in you Stir it up. Some people may think you're wasting time. But in a matter of time, the God of Israel delights in manifesting himself. He's looking for a man or a woman that is trusting in him. And he will show himself strong. I pray that you will have a testimony. It doesn't matter how many devils around you. Let me tell you that thing inside of you is greater than everything around you. Keep at that altar. Keep at the well. Allow that thing to rise up in you. And moments will come when the thing that was limiting you cannot afford to limit your progress when the thing that was for, forbidding you to progress is now being mastered by a higher force the God of Israel is seeking for an occasion that he may lift you up to the place of glory Bible says that he who has called you he has called you unto glory and virtue he has called you to a dimension of glory he has called you to a dimension of goodness and I pray for you that every bad report concerning your life shall be frustrated and the virtues of God the abilities of God the power of God will rise up in you in the name of Jesus somebody clap your hands to your don't try to do what you cannot do you will still fail if you do what you cannot do it is obvious you will fail praise the Lord do what you can and believe him to do what you cannot do somebody stand up